Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video is going to show you how to update your Radio Master R161 and R168 receivers. I'm going to be using the TX12 uh, to do the update, so let's switch over to first, we're going to look at the cables that we need to make up to be able to do the firmware updates. Now before we move on to updating the firmware on our receivers, we need to make up some leads. Now this is the R168 receiver. We can use a normal servo plug to plug into our receiver. Now this is where we've got the power in the middle. Now at the other end, we need to swap over. So we can still use one of these cables, but we'd have to swap it over. I just made these cables up because I had the plugs. So now we've got to switch over the power and the ground. So this goes into the radio that way. So it's signal at the bottom, it's ground in the middle and live at the top. So that's a cable that we, you would need to make up for your R168 to be able to update the firmware on your TX12. Now let's take a look at the R161, which is slightly different. Now this is the cable that came with the receiver, which is set up for uh, SBUS. I've taken, there were two more wires which I've taken out because I'm not using them. But if you take a look at our plug that we're going to do the update with, we've had to swap this around. If I turn that over, you can see we've had to move the yellow pin from pin 3 to pin 4. This is so that it, it plugs into S port on the receiver. So I happen to have another plug, so I made this up. But you might need to just take this pin out and put it into pin 4. And at the other end, of course, we have to do the same swap we did with the R168 receiver, and that is to swap over the ground and the power. So you can see our ground is in the middle and our power is at the top. Now let me show you where to download the firmware. We're going to go to the Radio Master website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we go to support. And we're going to go down to the receivers. You can see them here. So we want the 16 R161 first. And we can go to downloads. And there's the firmware. So we're going to click download. And you can see firmware is being downloaded at the bottom there. OK, that's done. Let's go back. And we're going to go to our second one, the R168. Do the same again, uh, firmware updates. There we go. Now we're going to go into downloads. Now all you're going to need to do is unzip these files. Now if we go into them, you can see this is the R161. You've got all of the different firmwares here. You've got F port, you've got S port, you've got the EU version and the FCC version. So in South Africa, I use the FCC version. So you can see all the versions of the firmware there. We go back to the second download we did, and this is for the R168. Now you've got less firmware for this, but you have got version one and version two of the um, ACCST firmware. So you can pick whichever one you need, the LBT one, the European one, or the FCC one. So there we go. That's what, all we have to do. And I would suggest you unzip these files before you use them. I put them into my radios and receivers file. Now let's transfer the files to our radio. We're going to plug our TX12 in to the computer. You're going to choose USB storage SD. And there you go, our computer has detected it. So if we go into the firmware file, you can see I've already got the firmware in there. But we're going to go to the radios, to my receivers, and we're going to the R161, and there I've unzipped it. And there you can see all of the different firmware. So you can select whichever one you wanted. So the one I used was version 2 uh, S port. It would be this one. So just right click, copy it. Go into this folder on your USB drive, which is your radio, and then paste it in there. And I did that with both files because I updated both of them. So that's how we get the firmware onto our radio. 
Now let me show you on the radio what we need to set up. If we go to the model button and you can see I've set up a model RX update and all we need to do in here is to make sure the internal module is off and the internal one is on and choose PPM. So that's everything we need to do on the radio. Now the first receiver we're going to update is the R161. Now here is the R161. I'm going to give a closer view of the pins but I want to show you this is the cable that comes with the, your receiver and you can see we've got ground uh, power and, and signal to SBUS but this won't work for updating the firmware so what we need to do is I'm going to take that plug off and I'm lucky I had some spare plugs but you are going to have to change this so that you're going to move the yellow pin from S port to, so, sorry from S bus to S port so from pin 3 to pin 4 so when you plug this in and I'll do a close up picture um, you, you're now plugged into your ground your voltage and S port so now we're ready to update that now I've taken the back of my radio cover off of the JR Bay now you must be very careful here you now need to plug your cable in with the signal at the bottom then the uh, ground and then power so in this you just must be very careful with okay there we go and you can see now the receiver is, is powered now we need to go to our system menu and we're going to go across one and we're going to go into the firmware where we earlier put the firmware for this receiver now you can see all my firmware that's in the drive so now we are going to make sure we pick the right one and this is the R161 and we're updating it to version 2 of the ACCST firmware so we're going to push enter now you say flash external and you see now it's writing I'll leave this in real time do not interrupt it once this has started so make sure your battery on your radio is is uh, fairly well charged And there we go, successfully flashed. So we can push turn and then we can unplug our receiver. And don't forget to change back the wire back to SBUS on your cable if you have used the same cable that came with the receiver. Now let's update the R168 receiver. Now we've got a different plug this time because we need a servo style plug for this end of the receiver. Now this isn't a normal setup, but we're going to plug into the S port and then the voltage and ground. This end is wired exactly the same as before with the signal at the bottom. Now the ground is in the middle and live at the top. So again, this is very important when you plug this in to make sure you put this in the right way. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. You see the power goes straight to the receiver. Let's put that there so that you can see. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. We're going to go to our system menu and I'm going to go across one down to firmware. Whoops, a daisy. Down to firmware and then go to the make sure it's the correct firmware. It's version 2 for the R168 and flash internal, external.
Again, I'll leave this in real time so you can see how long it takes, so you don't panic if it, you think it's not working. And there we go, we've successfully flashed the firmware. So we're going to come back out and there we go, job done. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.